Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about using Unitax with Utwin, one of the most popular assets right now in Unity. First, let's take a look at how you can use Unitax with Utwin. You go to the GitHub page of Unitax, scroll down, and click to the external assets right here. Then, you're gonna copy Unitas to the support symbols right here. You go to Unity, click File, Use Setting, Player Settings, and scroll down right here. You can see that in the session scripting defined symbols, you're gonna ask Unitas to twin support. And there you go. Now she's gonna use Utah with Dutwin. Let's see how normally you use Dutwin. In here, I have a game object named Q. In the start method, I do move those Q to the destination of the vector tree of 5, 0, 5 in 2 seconds. So, that's how we normally use Dutwin. And after it's finished, it's process, I'm gonna lock complete. Let's take a look at the editor. Game object, oh, main camera, sorry. Drag the queue. Let's run. There you go. When it's reached the point of 505 is gonna lock complete. Now, let's see how we can refactor it using Unitas. So, the tree is like a process, right? And by representing the process, we can actually use Unitas to do it. Let's refactor this code. Let's delete it. Do move and to imitas and I want also to mention that this extension method can only be used if you have the namespace oh I'm sorry if you have the symbols that is imitat between supports it will allow you to access many of routine extension right here By using Unitas, we can actually await the Dutwin course to finish by using await keyword right here. And you can post a since keyword at the start method. And let's take a look. There you go, same function, the moves move normally. Now, because we await the process to be finished, we can execute our code normally without using the callback method. Here, we can add debug.log and complete. There you go. Let's go back to the editor. Let's run. So, the difference is, we can have your code in a much cleaner way. Instead of using callback methods to assign an anomaly functions to the Dutwin, we can await to the process to be finished. And that is very, very powerful. Another trick that you can use by using a scene always, in this case, even it has Dutwin, is you can actually cancel Dutwins. Let's take a look. In here, we assign an UT button. I will call it the cancel button. And in the tuning method, instead of using two imitas, we can use with cancellation. And we're not going to pass the cancellation token. 
is here we can assign the token by initializing the cancellation token source there you go I've covered CTS and I'm gonna pass CTS dot token here so in the process of the twin we can actually cancel it midway I will write the function as we can assign with the cancellation button I will call it cancel right here and in the cancel method we will cancel the token and in the start method we assign the callback to the cancel button right here let's open the editor in main camera we can see the cancel button is right here i will drag the reference to my cancel button Let's run it. Oh, I forgot. I will move the duration to be 5 seconds to get a better demonstration. In UD, first, let's run the method without canceling it. As you can see, it's moved quite slow. Now, let's restart it, but this is time we will cancel it midway there you go we have successfully cancelled the product by hitting the cancel button right here as I click the cancel button please make sure to click the like button and the subscribe button as well One of the cool things that you can use with DoTwin and Hibitas is you can chain the twin after each other, like in a subsequential way. For example, if after I want this queue to be moved, I want to rotate it. How do I do that with Hibitas? It is very simple, and I would do that in a clean way. So I will await this and after this finish, I will await a second time and I will rotate it by using the rotate right here. And it's going to take an M value as a vector tree, new vector tree, 90, 90, 90 for like two seconds. And you can pass the cancellation tokens as you want. For a demonstration purpose, I will not pass this. And after we rotate the queue, we will print down the complete message. Let's see in editor. In editor, let's hit play. The queue will move right here. And then it will spin. There you go. It's print now complete. This is how we integrate to twin with Eutas. If you guys want me to make small videos like this, just comment down below. That is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.